It all began over two years ago. The earth had become overpopulated with poverty and misery on every corner. The criminals had taken control over the cities and nobody was safe anymore. To escape from the madness, Harper and I joined a space exploring mission. We required mercenary soldiers. The occasion was perfect and we were soon on board Explorer FX2. Morale was low, and we'd had enough of traveling throughout the deepest parts of space. Just when all hope in our hearts were about to vanish, like a flash from the sky, she shone brightly in front of us. She was ten times bigger than Earth and looked a real beauty. We christened her Algillara. First scans of the planet's surface had determined that it was suitable to sustain life. Moreover, there are a plethora of edible plants and simplistic animal forms. We soon landed and quickly established base camp and initiated our basic survival apparatus. It didn't take long before we began to explore our potential new home. Our base camp has now grown into a fully functioning settlement that Earth would be proud of. We were now ready to make the long journey back to deliver hope and news on our discovery. Sitting comfortably in my chair, I'm watching the rest of the crew board the ship, all the faces showing excitement and happiness. On my left, I can see Harper, already in a deep sleep. I start to feel the same drowsiness. This one will never fly again. On the other hand, there could still be something useful inside. It's a medikit. I'll grab it. You never know. It may come in useful. It's a navigation device and it looks functional. 
This laser gun is not fully loaded, but I'll feel more secure with it. One weapon will be enough. This one will never fly again. On the other hand, there could still be something useful inside. It's a medikit. I'll grab it. You never know. It may come in useful. It's a navigation device and it looks functional. This laser gun is not fully loaded, but I'll feel more secure with it. One weapon will be enough. I promise you, my friend, you won't be forgotten. Calm down. I'm not going to hurt you. No way you got to catch me again. <sighs> Don't panic. I'm here to help you. He looks as if he's fallen into a coma. He looks as if he's fallen into a coma. He could have been intelligent, but unfortunately it's too late for further analysis. It's very hard to estimate their intellectual power through this aggressiveness. Oh! <laughs> 
This medikit does wonders. Looks like he's recovering. Are you feeling better now? Ah, who? What's going on? Where am I? Can't you remember what happened? Yes, it was the Gorkis. Why are you helping me? You were lying wounded. I just had to do something. Who are you and how did you get here? Harakwe and I were captured by the Gorgies. They were taking us to Akiri, but I managed to break free. I ran into the woods, but some of them chased me, and I was shot. I hid in this clearing, and just when I thought they had found me, you popped up out of nowhere. I think I ran into some of them back there. They certainly didn't look too friendly. But why did they capture you? I really like to tell you, but I've hardly enough energy for teleportation. I might not get another chance. Wait, maybe I can help you. You've already helped me, and I thank you. Please try help her out. Take this laser cutter. It's all I have. It cuts hard objects easily. I have to go now. Wait, what's your name? Udra. My name's... He's gone. There's something weird going on here. Maybe I should find the cave he was talking about. I definitely need some answers.